Hello everyone, I am Robin, I'm unwrapping and I'm going to do a review on the GoPro Carmen hand grip. Um, I'm filming this on a Hero 4 Silver and a Session, Hero Session. So um, I've got the two cameras. Quite exciting, actually. I've uh, received received in the post yesterday. Um, what I bit of a delay on the uh, on the delivery. I had to get a phone call to say to confirm my details. Was, uh, was odd. But um, once I'd done that, it arrived pretty much the next day. So, I'm trying to think of the best way to actually film this. So the box is a typical GoPro quality box. Always reminds me of Sonus from a from a Sonus perspective. And um, on the front, it's got brief instructions, capture footage. So smooth, your ordinary shots will look extremely extraordinary. Karma Grip captures amazing handheld and body worn perspectives with pro quality image stabilization. Connect your GoPro, turn on the grip, and go. So it's got a picture of the handheld device, and it's also got a picture of the, um, the backpack. I have here, which I'm going to talk about also in another one. So the Seeker, I think it's called. The Seeker Backpack. Also arrived was the Hero 5. So I wanted to see if I could get that locked in on the. Normal GoPro. If you can hear that crying in the background, that is my four month old son, Tristan, wanting some attention. So, I've just removed. So, that includes compound, yeah? Hero Black case. So, it's compatible with. Hero Black, which it harnesses and clues. You can also get the Session adapter and also a Hero for Silver or Black adapter, which is good to know. Nice case. And we got the instructions. Okay. So we got let's get started instruction I'll mainly be using this for mountain biking so it says first step charge the battery status lights indicate a charge level that's not step two Step three, press the power button on. Press the power button to select the mode, alignment mode. Press the shutter button to start and stop recording. Press the power button to turn off. Capture the object. The tilt lock as well. That's that. Paper. So here we have the case it comes in. Again, good quality case you get from pretty much all GoPro products. Actually having this on my hand, Karen, is 
probably not the best way to do it. So what we got here. So here we have it. So this one looks nice and neat in the box. Actually, it's, it's a little bit heavier than I initially thought it would be. But it is. Quick shot of the, the guy making all the noise in the background. So it's a you know it as I said it's a bit it's a bit heavier to what I what I was thinking it was going to be. And obviously I will keep this on in my in my on my backpack most of the time. Um, so let's have a look. So put that down. So. it comes with a clasp to link on to the backpack um, and it's also got a cable for charging and that is actually not a standard cable so that's a little bit unusual it's got its own unique charging cable so it doesn't look like a USB it looks like it's a uniform, you can go in either way. So obviously a little bit of concern because then you I've got tons of cables. Slots in pretty neatly. And you plug it into the laptop. As I mentioned at the start, the outer casing is designed for a Hero 5, which I will talk about pretty shortly. Initial impressions, it's a good, good solid piece of kit. Feels, like I said, like GoPro, you know, very well made. Unlock it here. Actually, this is how you Take it out. That's a little bit of a concern. So I'm trying to unlock it. Oh. Like an, like an idiot, you slide this around and then you put it off at the top. So, put that in. Put this slide across. So it's not the most, uh, there's a little bit of brute force and ignorance to take it out of its housing. So I think this is when you want to put it into, yes, I know you're there. I'm trying to do a video at the moment. <laughs> yeah. So you put this in when I think you want to put it into say the drone device. Turning it on. It does not. So I've turned it on by accident and now I can't turn it off. Problem is when I plug it in there, there we go, it's off. Now the difficulty I think, this is the frustration. Is that, is that all the way?
Don't. Ah. Oh. Okay, so I've unlocked it to take it out. Now I've, as you can see, I'm sweating quite a lot because it's doesn't want to go back in. There we go. So it's a bit of a click. So turn it on. I don't know. It just needs to have needs to have the GoPro in there, but it's quite noisy when you turn it on. So I'm going to charge this up, and uh, I'm going to charge up the GoPro Hero Five, and I'm going to get out on the bike and test it. So uh, here it is. <laughs>